Welcome back to my channel, Classic Volkswagen Leverage. A big chunk of the cast metal snap off. So if you ever run into a situation like that, time to move on. Don't waste a lot of time. Perhaps you're better off getting a refurbished set or a brand new set. These were taken out of a good running engine. They just upgraded the engine and they swapped the heads and they went to um, something bigger than 1600. So the tool that you need is a big C-clamp. And it has multiple sockets going from 30 millimeters to 16 millimeters. So I'm gonna take uh, these uh, spring compressions off. Then I'm gonna take this head here and I'm going to dip it into a purple degreasing solution for an hour or two. We'll use the uh, C-clamp. We're going to clamp the valve. Proceed to install it in place and make sure it's pretty well lined up. Now we start applying some pressure here. And that's our first keeper right there. That's our second keeper right there. We'll put that right there. And now, and that valve should come out. We remove our special seat lamp out. Then if we bring this up, you can see how the compression spring is released. We're just gonna set it right there. And the fact that that valve came out so easy, those guides are pretty good. So all I'm gonna do is just make sure that I clean it. Now you repeat the same process for all four of them. Now that we have uh, removed uh, all of our valves, intakes and exhaust, um, it's time to take this head here and submerge it into a degreasing solution and clean it then we'll go ahead and check for the seats i'm going to submerge this into a degreasing solution for an hour or two then we'll come back then to uh, reinstall it back i use some acetone to get some of that carbon out uh, that worked well notice how i kept every single compression spring with each valve so that when i installed them back in this head i put them back in the same uh, location where i took them off uh, out from that way um, I'll secure you know that uh, I won't have any issues the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna check for uh, the seat here I might just do some uh, lapping it won't hurt to do some lapping to clean that area okay so now we have completed cleaning the uh, head so the next step is to go ahead and uh, do some lapping uh, lapping a valve to its seal, it's a very simple job. Uh, you only apply the grinding uh, paste to the valve face, then you insert it into the guy and attach a rubber suction cup lapping tool and then pretty much you just uh, rotate your hands back and forth. So this is what the uh, suction, the suction cup tool looks like. This is the uh, valve grinding compound. And basically what you wanna do is you take your valve and then you apply a small portion of the grinding compound in the face of the valve. You insert it in its uh, proper uh, location. You put the suction cup to it like so. And basically you just Rotate your hands back and forth with the grinding compound and every often time just lifting it to let the grinding compound um, uh, move on to the seat. Finally, when this band here, it's gray, completely gray, then you're done. Then you wanna take some solvent and clean that off, wipe it off and you're done. That's pretty much it. And you repeat the same process for all four valves. So we'll repeat the same process for all the three left that we have. Then we'll put the, uh, compre the compression spring with the uh, cup and the keepers and we'll, we'll be done with that. So we're going to repeat the same steps for second one here 
So we'll insert it there. Let's move this a little bit so that it will go all the way through. We'll clean this top portion here to make sure that our suction cup is going to stick to it. Once you hear that pig sound, you're done. Then you push your valve up. And again, notice how you have a gray band all the way around the face of the valve. And it's a uniform band. That's what you want. Then we do the same thing with the uh, we clean it with uh, some uh, acetone. Make sure we clean it. You have a nice gray band in there. You can see the band right there, same as the uh, one on the face of the valve. So we're down to um, our last uh, valve lapping job. And again, let me recap and make sure that you want to make sure that when you do this lapping work you see that gray uniform band all the way around the face of the valve notice how it's a little darker in color against the rest of the body of the face so you want to make sure you do that you want to make sure that you have that gray color that gray band all the way around uniform the same applies for where it goes right there you can see that gray band all the way around in a uniform manner manner okay that's good now we just take some acetone and we just make sure that we remove any remnants of the paste that we used for our lapping work <clears throat> double check that you don't have any compound a white piece of um, tissue paper or a white rack and make sure you clean that then we lubricate the uh, valve stem. We introduce it in its proper nest or guide and uh, install our compression springs, cups, and keepers. Okay, so our next step, we uh, take our special C-clamp. We set it up and uh, proceed to install our valves, springs, and cups, and keepers. So, we'll grab our first valve. Slide it in. And we'll find something to sort of like level our head like such. Your spring, set it on top. Put your cup on top as well. And this is the critical part now. Take your time to do this. Make sure you compress that spring down enough to where you can put your keepers and 
then you can also use a precision tool like this here to accommodate the uh, keeper in place. That one it's in place. And then the next one right here. Okay, so I have both of them in place now. There's our first uh, our first one already installed, so that's one. And then you repeat the same for all other three left in your head, okay? Okay, so we're down to our last uh, valve and we already put the keys in there and it's a tedious process so be patient when you're doing this these little keys you know if you have big fingers like i do um sometimes they can just give you a hard time trying to put them in there but um the key here is to be patient and to make sure that you take the time and now we're done with that one so we got one head done and then we'll just work on the other one. So now we are down to our last uh, valve and um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, finish this and then we can move on to check our cylinder jugs and piston. Now something you should know, um, if you don't uh, remove your valve guides you don't have to do any lapping work but in my case because i already had the uh the valves out and i want to make sure that when i installed this i have uh, good compression i went ahead and did uh lapping oh it should be set so with that we pretty much finish our valve installation. That's what they look now. I'm pretty happy with that. So again, let's do a quick recap on this. We we had our head valves, they were used. I dipped them in degreaser, I cleaned them. I took all of the carbon deposit out and um, I did some uh, valve lapping because I had the valves out and I wanted to take advantage that I had them out so that I can assure when I install them that I am having good compression. If you like the contents of this video, um, give me a thumbs up, like me, follow me on YouTube. And that's it for today. Until then, Junior out.